Hello, welcome to Experts Exchange. My name is Joe Kelly. Today I'm going to show you how to create a reservation within VMware's vCloud Automation Center 6. So here we are at the uh, engineering tenant. We're going to log in with administrator at Corp. You'd think I would get a lot easier for me typing this, but apparently not. So I'm going to log in. Again, all of these lessons have been defined to the infrastructure tab within VCAC so we'll go to that location again and then we'll go to reservation and then reservations now the thing with reservations is we've already seen that when we created a reservation policy that was more about a very simple process that was more about setting the stage for reservations and allowing certain business groups to provision to certain sets of resources. Now we're defining those resources uh, at another, really at the third layer. So we define the endpoint, then the fabric group, and now we're defining the reservation. And the reservation policy is, is kind of, uh, it's, it's an optional feature within the reservation itself, but you can define which, which business groups can uh, provision to what set of resources. So I've got two reservations in here, one for vCenter in my local instance or local lab, and then I've got one for vCHS. We're going to leave those alone. We'll maybe come back to those and edit those and see some of the settings, but we're going to create a new reservation. And you'll notice that I have one for cloud and one for virtual. We're going to create one for virtual for vSphere uh, vCenter. And then we're just going to kind of walk through the options here. So since I've defined this new reservation as one that is for vSphere vCenter, I only have the vCenter instances that I've defined within my endpoints. So I only have one vCenter endpoint. So that's the only thing that's going to show up here, and that's cluster. So we'll define, we'll click that, and then the name is going to pre-populate. Normally you would want to uh, set this to something that is specific or defined on how you visually see the cluster within maybe vCenter. So I'll call this vCenter and I'll call it local. The tenant will be engineering. We'll continue along that line. And then the business group will be engineering as well. Now here's where you set the reservation policy. So I can say for this reservation uh, that this, res uh, this policy has been set for this particular business group. So we'll define one for vSphere cluster local. I can also set machine quotas. I can say that uh, this business group engineering can only uh, provision a set amount of machines particular to this reservation. We will, we'll set that to unlimited. We'll leave that as a default. And then priority, I can set a priority based on uh, really how many reservations are defined to a particular business group. So if you have multiple reservations defined to a particular business group, you can set a priority uh, based on all those reservations. So a one would be the, the highest priority and then as it goes up it's a lower priority. So we'll set one here. We'll make sure it's enabled and then we'll go to resources. Here we're able to define a uh, memory and storage allocation for uh, for this particular reservation itself. You also see the checkbox for enable flex clone which is specific to uh, NetApp storage and uh, so if you're running NetApp storage and you're running the flex clone technology you can enable that capability that applies to storage. Uh, for this reservation we can see how much physical uh, physical memory is allocated to this uh, to this uh, set of uh, resources. Uh, we'll set the reservation for this to 2. And for the storage perspective, we'll point it to a data store cluster, in this case, bronze. And then we'll give it a reservation of 300. Okay, and we'll set a priority of 1. And then we'll hit the checkbox. So now I've got 2 gig of memory allocated for this reservation. Normally, this would be a lot more, uh, but we'll just set it to 2. And then I've got uh, 300 gig allocated to uh, to this reservation as well for storage allocation. If we go to network, we'll see that for the network, this is the only uh, mandatory or uh, required option here uh, for for setting this uh, reservation for networking. We'll define the network path. In this case, we'll do just VM network, and we'll set a profile of external two because that's what we've done in previous lessons. And what this is saying is that it's going to use any any VMs deployed from this reservation are using this reservation are going to use the VM network port group, 
within vCenter and their allocation, their IP allocation is going to come from the external to network profile that we defined in previous lessons. You don't have to use a network profile. That is not mandatory to use that. You could just use DHCP by default. But if we wanted to control, uh, if we wanted to control IP management, so IPAM capabilities, we could do that with a network profile. All of this stuff down here, this advanced setting capabilities and whatnot, this is all for VCNS and NSX. I'm sure this would look different for NSX, uh, but this is for VCNS, the vCloud network and security. Uh, all this is uh, more advanced uh, cap networking capabilities uh, through those products themselves. And last but not least, the alerts tab. This gives you the ability to, for this reservation, to uh, alert you on uh, capacity uh, requirements. So if you've got storage that's going to hit 80%, you can have it alert you when it hits 80% and beyond. Same with memory, CPU, and the machine quota, and you can have it sent to certain recipients as well. So we'll hit OK here. And this should create our reservation. And if we look at some of the other ones here, let's look at the vCenter one here real quick that I've created. So you can see that I've called one, I uh, called this uh, particular reservation vCenter Private Tenants Rat Farm. That's my, my uh, other tenant that I have within the lab itself. I've got a consumer business group. Uh, you can see a lot of the same stuff I've defined within the uh, reservation I just created. Got a reservation of 10 gig of memory for this. Uh, I've set both storage paths to bronze and gold data store clusters. Network, again, I'm just doing. Uh, just the normal uh, port group mapping within here to an external network profile and then I, don't, I, I do have alerts turned on, capacity alerts uh, all at their defaults. So not much there to see. That is how to create a reservation within VCAC 6. Thank you guys. I will see you on the next lab.